See, there's not a thing. It's not like Parisian style, you know, but I'm going to make it a thing because I'm Greek and I think we have vibe too. My sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a modern try on thrift haul for you guys. I'm excited about the pieces I have to show you. They are just what I would consider not so much trendy pieces, but not vintage. So more of a modern piece or that you can style up in a modern way. So let me begin with the top I'm wearing. This top had no label on it, but I can tell that it's kind of a fast fashion piece. But what I really liked about it was this silhouette. I think a halter neckline is always so flattering and it has a little rose detail here. So cute and also a tie bit that you could do a bow if you liked. I just think it looks better left alone like that. The print is quite gorgeous and of course this colour. It's the colour that I love most of all. And I just thought it was so pretty. I really, really liked it. So let us continue with tops. Allow me to show you guys this one you know me I love a stripe and a black and white stripe I mean it's just so chic so what I liked about this top was the straight neckline I think it's so flattering and I enjoy the vertical stripe vertical stripes I think are more flattering than horizontal stripes so the back has kind of a box pleat and there's a zip closure and the straps are thin spaghetti straps with adjustable sliders now that I'm I'm looking at this top I'm questioning how I styled it I think this still would have worked had I tucked it in in the cutaway I left it out because I didn't want to take away from this draping in the back and although I think it looked nice it's not really my vibe I like to tuck things in so I'm gonna give it a whirl and tuck it in and see what that looks like but I think it is just a beautiful top it's by Veronica Main it's a size 8 it also has lining and a little split on either side. It's a piece that, you know, you could have in your wardrobe for ages and it's always going to look great. You can dress it up, dress it down. I thought it was beautiful. The next piece I have to show you is this demure top in this polka dot print. You can tell that my choices are still leaning towards pieces that are quite classic and timeless. The silhouette is very narrow. There's just not much room to play with, you know. I love to have a bit more volume. The sleeve is quite pretty. It was this sleeve and the neckline and the print. It is a fast fashion brand by Dottie. Can't resist a stripe or a polka dot it seems. So this next top I was just so drawn to this beautiful color. Although it's not really my fit it's a size 38 which normally is classified I'm sure as a 10. It's kind of large. I thought the details on this top were very pretty. I liked the pin tuck detail, the mother of pearl buttons, this little cap sleeve. It's got a nice kind of flowy shape. I just love these colors and I think with a pair of blue jeans and white trainers it makes such a cute outfit. The label on this is called Together. It's made in India as I mentioned a size 38 and 100% polyester. So next up is a short sleeve shirt. I'm all about short sleeve shirts. I think they are just so easy to style with a pair of denim and trainers or loafers. They make a great in-between season outfit. I guess because short sleeve shirts are kind of like a man style. You don't really find short sleeve shirts in the women's section. So this I just loved because of the color. Obviously, it's gorgeous. I love the contrasting buttons. It's 100% silk. I love the pockets. Although I think it was a little big for me, I still think it worked. This one is by Design Studio, size 14, made in China, 100% silk. It also has shoulder pads, forgot to mention that they can easily be taken out. So I thought that was a great buy for $1, as were the other items I showed you for $1. So I was at the entrance markets and I found a stall there run by two women who had a heap load of clothes and all the clothing in their stall was $2 a piece. 
I found another short sleeve shirt. This one in a little heart print design in black and white. So gorgeous. I especially love a black and white print when the black is the minimal color. So this was just Oh, I love it. I just love it. I thought it looked great in the cutaway too, with just black denim and a black and white hat, some white loafers, such a cute outfit. I can't wait to wear this. This I just love and it's by Dottie. It's a size 12. I love the little cap sleeve. This is just an easy piece. Oh my God, I love it. I just love it. It's 100% rayon. I was so glad it wasn't polyester. It has a small pocket on one side. The sleeves also have a little roll detail. It's got a collar. It has a square boxy shape. You can wear it out, tuck it in. I just love it. Another amazing $1 find. This navy top is by Bohemian Traders. They are, well, a Bohemian aesthetic clothing boutique and their prices are not cheap. I'm currently working on a Grecian style video. So I'm collecting any pieces that to me look Athenian or just Greek, goddess looking, any any kind of, you know, Athenian, Grecian vibes. And so when I saw this top, I thought it would work really well in the video. I just think navy is so timeless. If you wear it with a contrasting color, it just really pops and it can look really gorgeous. I also loved the very high neckline, the delicate embroidery, the shape, you can wear it out or tuck it in. It has a peasant style kind of vibe. This is the kind of piece that, you know, you would see girls wearing in the villages or something like that. And I thought it was just very pretty. So like I said, it's by Bohemian Traders. It's an extra small and it's 100% cotton. So I found this top on the same day as the one I just showed you. And again, I thought it would work amazingly in my Grecian style video. I love this top. This balloon sleeve, because it's a dolman cut, it falls to about three quarters on your arms. It's got an elasticized cuff, and so you can bring it up to a half sleeve or a three quarter sleeve. This contrasting embroidery is just so Greek style to me. I just love it. Cute little neckline, kind of like a V shape, but with these tassels, you can tie it up at the neck or leave it loose. Just a very voluminous, blousey top. Again, a great trans-seasonal piece. You can wear it when you're traveling. It's beautiful. And this is by Pink Diamond. It's a size medium and it's 100% rayon. This is still a fast fashion brand, but they only sell to boutiques and then the boutiques kind of hike up the price. A blouse like this, would set you back about $70, $80. So I just thought that was a gorgeous, great find, along with this one, $1 each. I'm so happy with both of these tops. So when I saw this t-shirt, it's by Age or A-J-E, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. This is a designer label and it's quite expensive here in Australia. So when I saw it, I immediately thought of my god sister because I'm sure I've seen her wear this brand and I thought maybe she would like it. It's a size large, it's in this gorgeous fuchsia colour, a good quality short sleeve tee with roll sleeves. I mean, there's not much to it but I'm sure that they would have sold this in their boutiques for a hundred bucks. It's crazy, but it is an expensive brand, let me tell you. So I'm gonna send this one along to my god sister. I hope she likes it. I just thought that was an amazing find for one dollar and it's in really good condition. Next up, I have a couple of shirts by Sportscraft. Again, another Australian label that is quite pricey. They are excellent quality, I gotta tell you. The fabrics they use are absolutely beautiful. Some of them are imported from Europe, Italy. Look at these colors, a pink and a white. Just absolutely gorgeous pieces at the thrift shop for one dollar each. And these shirts retail for about 180, I would say. No word of a lie, my friends. That's how expensive sports craft is. So this pink one is 100% cotton and a size 14, a beautiful long sleeve pink shirt. Not much to it, but classic in a beautiful pink. And it's kind of like a salmon pink, isn't it? It's so pretty. And then the white shirt is a size 14, also in 100% cotton. I love the contrasting tortoiseshell button and the double
double pockets. It's a three quarter sleeve, just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful shirts. I cannot believe that I found them for a dollar each. I mean, just crazy. So this next top is by Country Road, which is another Australian label that is kind of mid-market, I would say. A top like this would probably run around $110, $109. I know their pricing because I used to work in David Jones and we used to carry Country Road. So I liked the print, I liked you know the leopard print and I liked the color it's kind of a salmon pink with neutrals there's a ruffle detail which I also thought was so pretty it's a v-neck line a long sleeve and this sleeve also has a button cuff detail which I found kind of a little inconsistent with the styling. I would have gone for maybe an elastic cuff, but anyway, I could not let it go for $1. And although it's huge on me, it's a size 16. When I tucked it in, I think it looked so much more nicer on than just on the hanger like this. And like I said, this is by Country Road. It's a size 16 and it's 100% viscose. So I have some more animal print to show you guys. This is a snake print in a black and white colorway. It's by Wayne Cooper, another Australian designer who is quite pricey as well. Although I gotta say, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I don't think the quality is there for the price point. But again, for $1, how could I resist? It's the kind of you know, piece that you would take on holiday and wear when you go out to dinner. You know, this tunic shape is always, you know, so easy to wear. You know, pair it with denim or even shorts and it looks cute. So you can wear it kind of off the shoulder too because it is quite a wide neckline. And this rope detail kind of cinches in at the waist. So it's threaded through the actual garment. A dolman short kind of three quarter sleeve and I actually liked it on so much more than when I saw it in the thrift shop on the hanger. The label is Wayne Cooper. It is a size small and it's 100% polyester. A great find for one dollar my friends. So I have two denim skirts to show you guys. This piece my friends I got excited about. I think it is so cute. When I saw it, I kind of squealed. I thought it was so adorable. Black denim with embroidered flowers and it has little side pockets. It's so adorable, so well made. This just black zipper at the back so there's no button front as is per usual with a denim skirt and I was so hoping that this was going to work on me and although it fits well and I love it it's just too short it's too short for my liking I'm not going to feel comfortable in it and so I won't wear it so this one's going on my shop but I just love it I absolutely Love it. So this skirt is by Topshop and it's a size 38, which equals a size 10. So I was right. But Topshop and H&M are very small makes, you guys. So this does not fit like a 10. It fits like an eight. It's just, it's too short. It's too short for me. And I'm so sad because I love it. I love it. And it's that real tough denim that has no stretch in it. It's 100% cotton. It's so cute, right? How cute is that skirt? Just if it was, you know, a few inches longer. And this I found for $2.50. So the other denim skirt that I found is kind of, you know, the more classic style that you see. This one is by H&M. It's a size Europe 40, which means it's a size 12. It was a little big on me, but it still worked because as I said, H&M sizes run a little small. I own H&M denim skirts. I'm very happy with them. I have a blue one, I have a black one, and I wear them all the time. I love them because they're 100% cotton. They don't have no stretch. I find that when you buy a denim skirt that has stretch, it kind of rises up, it loses its shape, it looks cheap and nasty. I'm just not about the stretch. I love a rigid denim in all denim really. Like even my Levi's, these are 100% cotton. There's no stretch and that's how I prefer it. Unless they're done really, really well. And I have yet to see a pair of jeans with stretch 
that don't look tacky. So I just loved this skirt. I loved the grain in the denim. I think it's really gorgeous and the color and the copper hardware. You know, two pockets on the back, just a great skirt. These run for about $35 in H&M. So to pick one up for $1, I think is an absolute steal. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. They're great staples. H&M, I'm very impressed when it comes to their denim. How cute is this skirt, you guys? I just think it's so beautiful. Again, this is a piece that I thought would work great for my Greek style video. See, there's not a thing. It's not like Parisian style, you know, but I'm gonna make it a thing because I'm Greek and I think we have a vibe too. Right, my fellow Greek goddesses? I love skirts like this. Cute little ruffle skirts like this, to me, are just so adorable. I just love them and I always will, whether they're in a short style or a midi style, I'm like, give me that. And I found this skirt at the Red Cross. It was labeled, I think, $9, but they had it crossed out and it was down to $3. So it's that silky kind of polyester. The label is by a designer label. I remember this label being around when I got engaged. So gosh, ages ago, this could have even this could even be vintage, but it doesn't look vintage. Anyway, the label is George and it's a size 10. I also like the color palette in this skirt. All these neutrals, the print is kind of an abstract flower kind of leafy print, which I think is just pretty as well. So I love this skirt. It fit me really well. I'm gonna try and style it up in an unexpected way in the Greek video. I don't know, I just love it. Would it be a Joe Dee's thrift haul without a pleated midi skirt? No, my friend. So here is another one to add to my collection. I love it. The pops of vibrant color in this skirt. So this skirt is by Rockman's. It's a size 10 and it's 100% polyester. The waistband is elastic. It fit me really well. It's pleated, it's a midi. It's got gorgeous colors on it. I mean, I am trying to reinvent my style a little bit. I am kind of going through something with my style. I don't know what it is yet, but my love affair with pleated midi skirts is not going anywhere. That's just all I have to say about it. So this skirt was $1 at my salvos. I mean, when I saw it, I just snatched it straight away, put it in my cart, didn't really look at the label or anything. It was just hanging there like that. And I thought, yes, thank you very much. Three dresses I have to show you guys. The first one, I wasn't even sure I was gonna take. It was hanging on a $1 rack outside my local op shop. Look, when I look at this dress, do you know what I see? Do you see this neckline? It's kind of like a turtleneck knit kind of neckline. And then the same goes for the sleeve. You know when you see those tops in Kmart or Target and they kind of make it look like it's a two piece that you're buying. So it's a dress, but it is layered with a turtleneck. And that's what I just didn't like about it. But what I did like about it was the polka dots and the classic shift silhouette. So I looked at the tag, I saw it was from Zara and I thought, I'm gonna take it. It's a dollar, what have I got to lose? Maybe it'll work. So when I tried it on, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it looked cute, a lot cuter than you know, what it looks like on the hanger. Sometimes Zara get it right and sometimes they get it so wrong. And I would say that this is kind of wrong, but somehow you can, you can still make it work because the classics are there. So like I said, this one is by Zara. It's a size medium. It's made in Morocco and it's 100% polyester. The next dress is by that pink diamond label. And again, this one is in a size eight. It's quite tiny, but it just fits me. There was something about this dress that I was drawn to. It's very autumnal. So when I look at it, I think it's a beautiful piece to wear in the autumn. I also loved this asymmetrical hem. And because it's a maxi on me, because it's asymmetrical, and it shows leg and it's up and down. It's so flattering. I'm always attracted to that kind of asymmetrical hemline. And I just loved the collar and the deep V. You know, it's got a button cuff detail. I thought it was just 
so pretty and quite a departure from my usual style right but like I said I'm reinventing my style so just a great find for one dollar if you ask me absolutely steal so the final dress is a piece that to me is classic timeless I always love pieces like this I'm always looking for pieces like this because they are just that easy comfortable piece to wear when you're traveling it is a striped shirt dress this one had no label but I know that it's cotton I can feel that it's hundred percent cotton and that's why I took it if it was any other fabric I just would have left it the pastel blue and white stripe is gorgeous it has pockets which again just made it an absolute treasure for me the sleeve is long but it has a tab sleeve so you can wear this sleeve long tabbed or roll it up to a short sleeve which I love it's a button through shirt dress it has one side pocket here and this is just what I love to wear when I'm at the beach over my cozy I'll always reach for something like this it's just, I love it. I love it so much. I just don't know who makes it. But my mum did check out the craftsmanship and she gave it her stamp of approval and said that it was great quality. So one dollar, you guys. I found two pieces of outerwear. Now this one I found at the entrance markets. At first, I wasn't sure. I thought, but is it cheap looking? of the inside I wish it was just all the same in and out but I thought no this is going to be a great piece for my Grecian style video I love that it is this square shape with little armholes for a short sleeve that kind of drape around your arm it's a long length it's just I don't know it's this print it's in a navy black and white I just couldn't resist it it was five bucks and I thought yes I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start it up I would wear this with a billowy long sleeve blouse underneath or with a tank top and then this thrown over the top as a layering piece there are lots of ways you could style a piece like this you could even cinch it in with a belt and that would look really great too I just thought it was a great piece it does remind me of Greece for some reason it's just that I see these pieces and I think they're exactly what I'm looking for so again just a steal there was no label on this at all nothing oh here's one here what does this say 60% cotton and 40% viscose rayon made in China at least it's 60% cotton which I'm happy about no I'm really happy with this piece five bucks and to round up my modern try on thrift haul is this outerwear piece which is so bohemian so Mexican kind of Aztec vibes this is something that you would see on the free people site and they would be charging $300 for it so I love the colorway first off this gorgeous blue it has a tab sleeve and the sleeve is wide love that so a waterfall kind of collar with a bit of fringing which is always so bohemian and this is by Mambo. Perhaps this is an older piece by Mambo because the tag looks kind of old. It says it's designed in Australia, it's a size 12 and it's 100% cotton made in India. Awesome, awesome find. I would wear this with a pair of denim cutoffs, a little cute white tank and then this thrown over the top be longer than the denim cutoffs. I just really love that balance. I just think it's a really great piece, I really do. And so that is a wrap for this modern try on thrift haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.